Hi, fr hi friends! So last week we read about penguin chicks. This week we are going to read about emperor penguins. In the back of your mind, I want you to think about things that you notice that are the same from last week and things that you notice that are different. And then we'll go over it after I read, all right? So it says emperor penguins. Most penguins live in the southern part of the world below the equator. Some penguins live in cold areas and some penguins live in warmer areas near the equator. One type of penguin that lives where it is cold is the emperor penguin. And then this is what it looks like. How they look. Emperor penguins are the largest of all penguins. Penguins are birds, but they do not fly. Instead, they use their wings as flippers in the water. They are such good swimmers that they look like they are flying underwater. Emperor penguins have shiny black and white feathers. Their feathers are waterproof to keep them warm and dry in water. Adults are about 50 inches long and weigh between 55 and 100 pounds. Penguins seem to be happy, playful animals. And then they got a little picture down here. And it kind of looks like a web page, if you can see. Um, and then here's some of the content. So if we were on the actual website, we can see and click on how they look, which is what they're showing us. Sorry, this way. Um, then their habitat caring for their young, food, and then enemies. Habitat. Emperor penguins live mostly around the coast of Antarctica. It is the coldest and windiest place on earth. The average temperature in summer is 20 degrees. Ooh, I would not want that to be um, 20 degrees here in the summer. I like it to be nice and warm, 90s and above. The average temperature in winter is 30 degrees below zero. Sometimes it can get as cold as 50 degrees below zero. Penguins have a layer of fat under their skin to keep them warm. They also huddle together in large groups to block the cold wind. Penguins take turns being on the outside and inside of the group. This is so every penguin has a chance to be warm. And this one doesn't have pictures, but again, um, this is, Sorry. another page of the website and it looks the same as the other page as I'm looking for it um, where they have all these subcategories all right so I am going to get my marker that fell sorry and on this side I have penguin chicks and this is something that they have the same and this side is emperor penguins. So tell me, what's something that you learned that is either the same or different from the story from last week and this week? Yep, they both live in Antarctica. We did hear that, so I'll write that. What else do you think? Um, the chicks have fluffy down feathers. Remember, they don't get their waterproof feathers until after a couple weeks um, from when they're born. Um, and they're also gray when they're born. Whereas emperor penguins have waterproof feathers, right? Because it seems like the story they told us was all about the adults. And they're also black and white. And what about how they keep warm? It seemed like in both stories, they were the same. Yeah, they stay in a huddle to keep warm. All right, so let me show you what the Venn diagram looks like. All right, oops, let it stand. Jeez, all right. So here's the emperor penguins and they have waterproof, their waterproof feathers and they're black and white. Um, the little penguin chicks have fluffy down feathers and they're gray. And then two things that are the same is that they both live in Antarctica and they huddle to keep warm. So I'm gonna give you another example of doing a Venn diagram, Venn diagram sorry. Um, and I'm going to talk about Soli and Joaquin because you know both of them. Um, so you can agree and disagree with what Mrs. G says. So for Soli, 
she has green eyes. For Joaquin, he has brown eyes. Soli is a girl. Joaquin is a boy. What's something that's the same? What do you think? Yep, they both, they're both my kids, right? Mrs. G's kids. <laughs> and they both play sports. That's another great one. Does anybody remember what sports they each play? Well, we all know Joaquin plays baseball. And Soli plays field hockey. Do you know a sport that they play that's the same? You have to use an orange ball. Yep, basketball. So they both play basketball. Right? Soli is my ninth grader. Joaquin is my sixth grader. All right, so let me show you this because then I want you to make one yourself. All right, let's hold this up. So here's Joaquin's side. He has brown eyes. He's a boy. He plays baseball and he's in sixth grade. On Sully's side, she has green eyes. She's a girl. She plays field hockey and she's in ninth grade. They're both my kids. They both play sports and they pl both play basketball. So what I want you to do is in your reader's notebook is to make your own Venn diagram. And I'm going to show you how to do the two circles because it's super simple. Nothing, it doesn't have to be um, anything crazy, but you're going to draw a circle on one side. And then you're going to start your other circle kind of in the middle of this one and just make another one so that you have that overlapping um, piece in the middle. So you can use your Venn diagram to, dis to compare and contrast your mom and your dad, your brother, your sister, your uncle, your aunt, um, your favorite color, your not favorite color, why, or two crowns, like what does, what do you use one crown of color? What do you use the other crown of color? Um, you can compare and contrast sports, schools, friends, um, teachers. Uh, you have Mrs. I and I in the classroom. Um, you know that I love green and she loves purple, right? She's our purplelicious teacher. Um, so that's what you're gonna do this week for reading is you're going to compare and contrast two different things in your reader's notebook. And I'll see you soon. Bye.